Step into the network with me. In the last few weeks, generative AI has been moving faster than ever. From lucid origin breaking past old image quality limits, to Midjourney's new HD video mode, to Eleven Labs adding a music generator, to Runway's Aleph and Luma's Modify with Instructions, letting you change entire scenes with a single prompt, and so much more. Every corner of the generative AI world just leveled up. If you're subscribed here, you're already ahead of most creators. But today, I'm taking you deeper. And here's the best part. I've broken everything down by tool, so you can jump to what matters most to your creative workflow and come back later when you're ready to test something new. So settle in, by the end of this update, you'll know exactly which features to try first, which to watch, and how these changes are about to shape the next wave of AI creativity. Hi, I'm Jessica with The Real AI Agents, and today you're stepping inside the Generative AI Network with me. So let's get into the August 2025 Gen AI update. We've got 12 major updates today, and each one brings something new to the table. Whether you create images, music, video, or full-blown AI productions. Let's start with the one that's been getting the most buzz. First up, OpenAI's updates to ChatGPT. If you're on the free tier, you might have noticed a bit more speed and accuracy lately. But for pro users, there's been a real shift. ChatGPT 5 now handles complex reasoning prompts much better, and image understanding is noticeably sharper. I've also noticed quite an upgrade in the actual image generation when prompted correctly. This means fewer explain again moments and a lot more precision in your results. The interface has also seen small tweaks, nothing flashy, but enough to make navigation cleaner. Now, while OpenAI is refining the way we talk to AI, the visual side of things is having its own leap forward. Leonardo AI has dropped Lucid Origin, and this is the one to reach for if you're chasing photo realism. It's not just sharper, it's delivering true 4K output for those who need ultra clean visuals. No more of just the 480p. And you can also choose your batch size now. So you don't have to do four videos and use as much of your fast hours as you would if you were just doing one or two videos. You can choose how many videos to render each time under your settings. The results feel more polished than the earlier mid-journey video experiments. Less jitter, more intention. This is ideal if you're creating social media posts, story segments, or looping visuals for events. But moving images aren't the only creative frontier. Audio is going through its own transformation. Eleven Labs, the platform known for lifelike voices, is now making music. It's in its early stages, think Suno in the beginning, but the fact that they're entering the music space is a big signal. Right now, the compositions are short-formed and a little experimental. This could be a solid free or low cost option in the near future. And while that's interesting, Suno is still the heavyweight when it comes to custom music. Suno 4.5 Plus brings smoother vocal delivery, richer instruments, and better arrangement control. They've also quietly rolled out a studio waitlist. If you've been using Suno for social videos or full songs, you'll notice fewer awkward note jumps and better lyric pacing in 4.5 plus. Who we are is an endless story. You and I know we can't stop. They tell us. From 
music, let's jump back into the video side. Grok AI is dipping its toes into creation. This is more of a curiosity than a powerhouse right now, but it's worth knowing about. Grok's Imagine Video Creation feels a bit like early AI video tools, slightly rough but fun for quick experiments. However, at this time, there is no way to make your generations private especially if you're using the free trial that they have out there for everyone to use Imagine on. So make note of that. You are sharing your prompts and your videos with the world. If you're a creator who loves testing new platforms early, this is a low pressure sandbox to create in for sure. Now from vintage vibes to cutting edge editing. Luma's new Modify with Instructions feature is a game changer for iteration. Instead of starting from scratch, you can tweak an existing video with a simple text command. Think, make it sunset, or add rain. This keeps you inside Luma without bouncing between tools. Speaking of precision, let's talk about keeping your characters consistent. Ideogram now allows you to lock in a character reference. That means you can design a face or style once and reuse it across different prompts without losing the identity. If you've seen my ideogram tutorial, you know this has been a sticking point. Now it's built in. I'll link that video right up here. That way, if you want to know more about how to create a consistent character inside of ideogram, you can check out last week's video. But they're not the only ones making this move. FreePick is combining AI art generation with their huge design library. And yes, they've added character reference with a single image too. For designers, this means you can keep brand visuals locked in while building out supporting assets in seconds. And for video creators, Runway is moving forward and outpacing the competition with a left. A left feels like Runway's answer to the high control creative editing. It's still new, but it's meant to go beyond with Gen 4 with more stylistic range and effort based tweaks. If you already use Runway for scene generation, a left is worth testing on your next project for sure. From there, let's get a little smoother with animation transitions. Pixverse now allows multiple keyframe transitions, which makes animation flow more like a planned storyboard. Instead of abrupt jumps, you can guide your audience through a true artistic sequence. Perfect for explainer videos or story-driven shorts. And last but not least, Hedra's got something that feels like science fiction. Hedra can now create live avatars that respond in real time. This isn't just lip sync. This is about generating a character you can actively interact with. Think live streams, virtual hosts, or dynamic in-video guides. That's the latest wave of AI updates. And honestly, every single one of those opens up a new creative lane. Let me know in the comments which one you're testing first and I'll pin the most interesting use case I see. I hope that you learned something today and I hope that you're inspired to go create something amazing. Thanks for spending some time with me today. My name's Jessica with The Real AI Agents and as always, keep looking towards the future.